Um, I just thought, you know, watch, you know, switching one through five. I didn't think we made the right, the right plays at the right time at at times, and then we just didn't make shots. On the left side, Ty Hayden Grove, Scott.com. Can you take us through the decision to take to bring Kevin off the bench, and do you think that that was one that um, you, at the end of the day, felt was the right one? Yeah, I felt it was the right way. We had just won by uh, won a game by 30 points. We played well, so I just decided to stick with RJ. Um, Kevin came to me after the game and just said whatever um, I felt was right. You know, come off the bench and starting, he was all in. So after winning the game by 30 points, I thought it was the right thing to do. Tim over here on the right. Tim Reynolds, Associated Press. Ty, everyone knows what the numbers mean when you're down 3-1 in a series like that, and you have to go there twice theoretically. All that. When, when, what do you possibly say to your guys after a game like that, knowing what, knowing that the odds are now stacked as high as they can be against you? If you don't think we can win, don't get on the plane. And I just think, you know, we got to come back anyway, so we might have come back and play. So we got to come back to Cleveland, don't we? All the way in the back in the center. Marla Ridenauer, Akron Beacon Journal. LeBron looked kind of out of sync. I don't know. Was it their defense? Was he having a hard time getting in the flow? Just in, and seven turnovers again. Just wonder what you thought. I have to look at the film, but you have to ask LeBron. I'm not sure. I got to look at it. Over here on the right side, uh, Coach uh, Dan Devine, Yahoo Sports. Uh, early in the fourth quarter, you have a, a, a real rough patch. It was on the Warriors going a 12-1 run. What were you seeing uh, from your team during that stretch? They missed six straight shots, a couple turnovers, uh, and as a follow-up to that. The, uh, the fatigue, how much did that play a factor in the fourth quarter? You had major minutes for LeBron and for Kyrie and for JR. It could have played a part in it, but, you know, going into the fourth quarter, you know, being down 2-1, we're down two points. They brought their bench in. So I thought if we can keep our starters in for a few minutes, you know, we can kind of make a run and then get guys out slowly. But they were able to go, <laughs> go on the run. So, you know, it hurt us. But, you know, I went with my best players, you know, in the fourth quarter, down 2-1, and, you know, it didn't work. Ramona on the left. Ty, Ramona Shelburne, ESPN. LeBron played 45 minutes. Is, have you guys discussed how many minutes he, he's playing and how many he thinks he can play effectively? No. Is it, do, you, do you think it's something that you, you need to discuss with him? Is he able to play that many minutes and still be effective at the end of the game? Well, when it's time to win and you're the NBA Finals, you got to play as many minutes as you, as you need to. So um, if you got to play 96 minutes, you got to play 96 minutes. You know, we're trying to win. We're in the Finals. And he could have got tired and, and it could have been fatigued. But, you know, in the NBA Finals, you got to lay it all on the line. And in nine days, you can rest all summer. Dave in the front. Dave Benjamin, ESPN Toronto. You spoke about how you were pleased at Game 3 with the way your team brought fight and brought physicality. How do you feel like that was a factor on both sides in tonight's game? Did you feel like uh, it might have gotten out of hand at any point? I thought we, we competed. I thought we played hard. You know, some defensive breakdowns, giving Steph and Clay some open shots. And this is the first series where they, I mean, the first game where they really gotten going tonight. And it was, it was hard to stop them. But, you know, I thought we played hard. I thought we competed. I just thought we made some defensive mistakes um, that cost us. And every time we made a mistake, they made us pay. Joe towards the center. Joe Varden, Cleveland.com. Ty, I know sometimes after games you see clips right away. Did you see this clip where Draymond apparently punched LeBron in the groin? I swear I didn't see it, no. Okay. Uh, Did and, he do it? I mean, I'm looking at my phone. I think everybody can look for themselves, but it's one to watch. Um, but in general, um, <laughs> you know, we've talked, uh, you know, we've talked all year, or at least all playoffs, about how LeBron is officiated. Um, he had a couple more tonight where he got to the rim and, and thought he got fouled. Just, I guess, without watching the film, what did you see there? He never gets calls. I mean, he attacks. Um, he's one of the most... Outside of Russell Westbrook, he's one of the guys who attacks the paint every single play, and he doesn't, you know, get a fair whistle all the time because of his strength and it could because of his power, and guys bounce off of him. But you know, those are still fouls, and you know, we weren't able to get them, but we got to play through the officiating. Third row, Moke Hamilton, BasketballInsiders.com. Uh, Coach, the game seemed to kind of turn uh, the latter half of the third quarter, heading into the fourth quarter. Tristan Thompson was on the bench for that stretch. With all the energy and everything that he gave you guys, I'm just curious to know what was behind the decision to go away from him during that stretch. I'm not sure. Would would you make that same decision again? I gotta watch the film. I mean, I'm not sure. I mean, I'm not sure the floor of the game, what happened. You know, I'll watch it and I'll let you know. Any other questions for Coach? Last one here on the right. 
to run Kenny Rota, WHBC Radio. Second half, you're outscored 58-42. You're up five at halftime. Was it more your offense or your defense in the second half? I thought it was a combination of both. Um, letting Steph and Clay get out in transition, getting some early threes, some missed coverages. And I just thought offensively, even in the first half, I thought we got stops, but we didn't really push it. All five guys didn't run to attack like we did in game three. But um, I thought it was a combination of both. Thank you, Coach.